What if I tell you mind reading might actually be possible? No, this isn't witchcraft or another episode of Star Trek. Researchers in Singapore are developing a mind reading artificial intelligence tool. And this technique relies on scanning the brains of the volunteers through an MRI scan. But how does this whole process really work? Watch this video to find out. So the volunteers for this study are exposed to over 160,000 images. And these include a variety of images from food to buildings to animals and other human activities. But unlike your science fiction movies, this AI tool is modeled to understand only the volunteers that sign up for the program and not the general public. The mind reading AI tool called MindWiz associates the brain scans with images and creates an individual AI model for each participant. The participant is presented with a series of images, each lasts for 9 seconds with 9 seconds break in between. The mind reading kicks in when the participant comes in and is exposed to the images while going through an MRI. The AI tool then will interpret the brainwave patterns and generate an image of what it thinks the participant is looking at. This volunteer had the opportunity to be one of the first to help and be a part of developing this AI tool. Firstly, this uh, brain decoding, like using brain signals to generate the natural modalities is very interesting and uh, exciting job, exciting work. So uh, I'm also interested in what happened in my brain and what my brain can output and what I'm thinking. So I try to participate to see what really happened on my brain. Quicker availability of MRI datasets and recent technological advancements have made it easier for the researchers to start developing AI tools that can read minds. It can understand your brain activities just like ChatGPT understands the natural languages of humans, right? And then it will translate your brain activities into a language that the stable diffusion can understand. The stable diffusion is basically a generative model which generates images. As of now though, we're far from developing an AI tool that is capable of reading minds of the masses. Yeah, I think we are trying to test the possibility right now, but I would say uh, in terms of the data set that is available right now, the computational power we have, as well as the huge heterogeneity or inter-individual differences in our brain anatomy as well as brain function, uh, this is going to be very, very difficult. Right, so yeah, it's going to take us at least another five to ten years, I think. And as interesting as all of this is, there are possible risks of the data sets learned from the AI being assessed without consent and lack of proper legislation and regulations. Privacy concerns is the, the first important thing. Um, and then people might be worried, right, whether the information we provided here might be assessed or shared without prior consent. So the thing to address this is we should have very strict uh, guidelines, ethical and, and, and law in terms of how to protect the privacy. But it isn't just Singaporean researchers who are looking into AI models that can read minds. A team of scientists from Texas have developed an AI system called Semantic Decoder. This tool translates brain activity into text. Similarly, many universities are funding programs to develop AI and broaden its possibilities. What do you think about these AI tools that could possibly put on paper of what you're thinking about? Tell us in the comment section and for more such content, keep watching Money Control.